Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about theorems. What is a theorem? A theorem is a statement that needs to be proved. And this will require definitions, axioms, or postulates. For example, Pythagorean theorem. This is probably one of the most well-known theorems in mathematics. And we know that if we have a right triangle, meaning one of the angles of the triangle is a right angle or a 90 degree angle, and of course we have the three sides A, B, and C, and I wrote them on the inside for a reason you'll see in just a moment why, Pythagorean theorem tells us that one side squared plus the second side, squ side squared equals the hypotenuse squared. An interesting way of proving that would be to say, let's say that uh, this triangle has a side A which is three units long and side B is four units long, then the theory then claims that side C must therefore be five units long. And one way to show that graphically is to go ahead and represent each side as a square. Notice that if we take A times A, that's A squared, that would be the area of this square. And then if we add up all these squares that we would get, when we equally divide it out like that, you can see that A times A, if A is equal to three, then A times A would be equal to nine. So this would be three squared, and of course that would be nine, nine squares here. We could do it again for this side, if we make that into a square, and we divide it into those four equal slices in this direction, and four equal slices in this direction, and we add up all the slices, notice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, of course b times b, if b is 4 then b squared would be 16, and you can see that using those squares, and if you add 9 plus 16, that should equal 25. And again, we can show that here graphically by making this into a square and then dividing this into 5 equal slices. And dividing this into 5 equal slices. 1, 2, Four, 5. And I'm not three. sure how equal they were here on the board, but close enough. You can see that 5 times 5 gives us 25. And there was one classical way in which we can prove the Pythagorean theorem. Of course, there's more rigorous proofs than that, but that's again what we mean by a theorem. A theorem is that someone comes along and claims that if you have a right triangle, and if you then square the first side and add that to the square of the second side, that sum should equal the square of the hypotenuse. And everybody says, well, how do you know that? Well, we can prove it to you. And that's the concept of proof. We didn't just accept that because couldn't see that unless there was some means of showing a proof. This is a very primitive way of doing it, but a very fun way in geometry. So we'll do more rigorous proofs, of course, later on in the videos to come. But now you understand what we mean by a theorem. It's a statement that somebody makes in mathematics, and we'll need to use a set of statements combined together, or perhaps like this, to prove that this theorem is actually correct. That's how it's done.